All right, here we are for part seven of uh, lecture 21 of CNG 4412 steel and concrete design. I want to finish up with a discussion, uh, our discussion of uh, uh, sh the shear strength of high strength bolts by just going through a very brief example. So this is going to be a simplified, a very nice and simple example, uh, just illustrating how we calculate the strength of a high strength bolt in a bearing type connection. Uh, so given an A490, a three quarter inch diameter bolt, uh, subject to double shear. Uh, calculate or find. Uh, compute the required or comp uh, compute the shear capacity uh, capacity of a bolt of this bolt uh, assuming the shear threads assuming shear thread or assuming threads Uh, are included in the shear plane. And generally, if you don't know, it's better to be more conservative. This is actually the more conservative assumption. Uh, plane, and we have a standard hole, not a slotted hole or something like that. Uh, we have a standard uh, STD hole. Okay, so uh, we have, uh, so basically, because this isn't included, this means by designation this is not excluded. So we're dealing with an A490N bolt. An A490N, and we could designate this as a 7 8 inch diameter. A490N, uh, let's see here, D for double shear, and STD for a standard hole uh, diameter or standard hole shape. Uh, solution then. Well, this is going to be fairly straightforward. Uh, phi RN as before, this is very much a plug and chug, is going to be phi times NSP uh, times FV times AB. FV times AB. And this is going to be 0 0.75. I really should have included this in the previous portion, but that's okay. Uh, 0 0.75 uh, times 2, a phi factor of 2. 2, now for the number of shear planes. Now, FV, which is the FNV found in table J3.2. And this is 68 KSI. And then the area of the bolt is just going to be pi over 4 times 0 0.75 inches. Uh, quantity squared. And if I did my math correctly, VRN uh, will come to 45.0, uh, 45.0 uh, uh, kips per bolt. 45.0 uh, kips per bolt. 45.0 kips per bolt. Okay. And interestingly enough, let's see here. Mm. And we have that. And let's see here, bolt diameter of, I'm just double checking our math here, of 0.75 inches. And uh, this is type N and three quarter nominal diameter. And nominal diameter here, where this is type N with, uh, let's see, where is our double? 
Um, I'm compare basically what I'm doing is I am looking in, uh, if you can't understand my uh, ramblings here, uh, what I'm doing is I am comparing this to table, uh, another way to do this is to use the design table, again, uh, like with all design aids, assuming you know the assumption, uh, as long as you know the assumptions, table 7-1, available shear strength of bolts in kips. Table 7-1. And let's see, so we need where we have, we need to look here where we have uh, two shear planes. Let's see, where is that included there? Well, if we look at the, if we look at the uh, group, at, if we look at here, no, um, We have that three five eighths inch, three quarters, seven eighths. Fairly straightforward here. Now, if you look through here, you will not find a 45.0 precisely, but what you will find is if you look on um, here at group on the on the first area here, uh, where you have a uh, uh, where you have a uh, N. Uh, group B N, that's the uh, group B is the A490, and where you go along to the bolt diameter of three quarter inch, uh, you find a VRN equal to 22.5, which is exactly equal to uh, uh, which is exactly equal to what we, uh, to one half of what we had. Or also, if you look down below, you actually will find a double shear plane case because if you look, they have both the S and the D cases there. So we can see that we actually did come up with the right numbers. This can serve as a useful check. Although I got 45.0 and I put it into my calculator, uh, maybe that's a rounding difference in pi or maybe that's a difference in slight uh, fillets and things like that, but uh, very close to what you see in the table. So uh, it is a very useful calculation. Uh, it is, uh, this design table is very useful if you want a quick uh, calculation for your nominal shear stack. All right, so if you have any questions on that, please let me know. Um, that'll do it for tonight, or at least for this portion of the video. And as always, uh, thank you.